So let's talk about success, shall we? Did you know that 73% of health and wellness practitioners actually fail in the first 12 months? That's a big statistic. And I can tell you it's not about lack of passion. We all have our own blind spots. Now I was fascinated not only with trying to find success in terms of happiness and calmness in my own mind, but how we can be successful externally so that we can be of assistance to as many people as possible. I remember one of my coaches when I first started told me that every successful master coach has their own coach because we are the worst at seeing our own blind spots. And the thing is, we can't be perfect at everything. For example, I'm a master coach and I love helping people discover the patterns that are holding them back in their own mind. But there's lots of things I'm not good at. For example, this video. I'm not that good at making videos, which is why I've got people with those skills working behind the scenes helping me create this video. And like that, we need to know where our, our weaknesses are and then get people to help us in this area. And as I said, there's one special person that everybody needs more than any other type of profession. And that is some sort of a mindset coach, a life coach, an executive coach, or a teacher, or whatever you want to call them. Someone to see what is holding you back at the level of mindset. And you see how this links back to what I was saying in my earlier video, that if we can portray and have a mindset of calmness, of flow, and that of abundance, then what happens is because we're so interconnected, we will draw in the people and the opportunities that will help us in those areas where we do have weaknesses. And it's a mentor or a coach that can help you uh, let go of any type of emotional baggage or limiting decisions that uh, help you move to that level where you will attract those opportunities. So I'd like to talk a little bit more in particular about that in the next video.